Absolutely. Me and Eminem, we sat on the phone about an hour <laughs> talking about hieroglyphics crew, like how those words, and we were trading. Yeah. And like th- their lyrics yes. on the phone. Yes. Like, do you remember, man? Yeah. Like they sparked so much. They opened up a new door for everybody, Beautiful. I think. And I think just to be around that time and to be like we we were out when Wu was out. We were out when Nas was out. So, but we're from the South. So it's kind of like we had to step up. Like, I think that was a, the best blessing. I know people look at the footage of us winning the Source Award and what I had to say on stage. Like, oh, that was, it was messed up there being booed. But I think that was the biggest blessing for us to have to, um, have to just be better. Yeah. Have to have to fight and really prove that we were really in yes. to what we were doing. And I could understand how they may have taken, you know, first album is just, you know, just just some southern, you know, riding around, you know, Cadillac smoking chick, you know, smoking and eating chicken wings, kind of stuff like that. But it made us have to be better. Cause we were on the road with Woo. We were on the road with Red Man. We were opening up for these people. So we got that schooling. You know, so we had to become, we had to become better. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Still Slaps, the music channel. Music reactions, music reviews, music commentary. I'm Shuby, repping for Still Slaps, songwriter, rapper, producer. Hey, guys, listen. I uh, heard this clip from uh, the one and only uh, Andre 3000. Um, He was in an interview. I I can't remember what interview this stems from. I might link it in the uh, description below. Uh, If you guys know off top, you could put it in in the comments as well. But I wanted to make this clip off of hearing Andre 3000 talk about this because you know what? This is a very, very important uh, quality and characteristic that you need to have as an artist. This is the type of mentality, um, not necessarily the mentality, but kind of the communication and networking. When we talk about networking today as artists uh, and producers, songwriters, uh, creators, we are talking about trying to feed off of each other. And when you look at a situation like Andre 3000, when he was talking about how uh, him and M we're on the phone together and talking about uh, the hieroglyphics crew, right? Um, they're talking about this stuff because you know what? It fuels that side of them, that passionate side of them that keeps them going in their craft. And that cannot be any more important than actually sitting down and practicing the craft itself. You know, guys, sometimes as artists, It is the the most important thing you can do is to network in this sense. You pick up the phone or you, you, you go on social media, you go on Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is, and you latch on to the community that is fueling your passion as an artist, as a creator, as a musician, in whatever you do. This doesn't just apply to artists. This applies to every sort of creator that is on the face of the earth. And you know what? You will find that your inspiration will go up, up, up. It won't come down because that is the type of power in networking with people who are of the same cloth as you. Eminem and Andre 3000 are from two completely different sides of the tracks. But they are both considered to be two of the greatest MCs to ever get on a mic. And when you really, really analyze this interview, this this clip of Andre 3000 really talking about really talking about this communicative and and feeding off of other MCs at the time at the time of outcast is uh at the time of their prime they're they're building up they're building through their career they were up against some killers you talk about Nas, you talk about red man you talk about the, that whole 90s era of hip-hop that was no joke you have to really really respect the the drive and and, and the the ability of outcast at that time and m 
to be able to come on the scene and do what they do because you are not just going to just slide through with with that amount of skill level in hip hop you're talking about the golden era that getting really into that uh that peak in hip hop history and i just wanted to make this short clip and just really really harp on this for you guys the importance of networking the importance of re realizing that you can feed off of that inspiration of having that community that exists still today don't sleep on the networking with other artists other producers and, and songwriters and and really just nerding out andre mentioned that he was on the phone with m for hours just talking about hieroglyphics crew and 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 the impact and 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 all that because it inspires them it, it it gets them back to that passion fueled conversation and obviously feeds into that love that both of these goats have when you're talking about the love of emceeing so guys if you like this interview if you like this clip go ahead and leave a like on the on the video go ahead and leave a comment in the in the in the comment section of the video and share this clip with somebody who you know will enjoy it. Go find this interview and, and really listen to it some more. And yeah, don't forget the impact of networking with a fellow creator and underestimate what that can do for you at this point in your building up in your career with music. This has been Shuby guys for Still Slaps. Thank you for watching. Andre 3000, Eminem, Hieroglyphics crew still slaps.